Hello and welcome to a UIDM features presentation. I'm going to show you how our DM tools work basically and all the different features that are available to a dungeon master. So we've opened our two instances. One will be a player's screen that you drag and drop onto the player's map and one will be your dungeon master screen. So we're going to take a look at our dungeon master screen at the moment. We are going to then look at our features tools, which are up here, only seeable by the Dungeon Master. So we're going to choose our map, and I think we're going to go with the Hollow Tree Rare. It's a favorite of mine at the moment. Um, and here we'll set up an ambush encounter. So I wanted to show you. So using the WASD keys and the Q and the E, you can move around the map. You can zoom in, zoom out. This map's a good size, so we can find a different spot. So this is going to happen before they arrive at the lair. So we're going to move down here on the map and we'll zoom in and here we go. Now we have start with our grid. First of all we have some options with our grid. Of course you can make it dark or completely fade it out. F set to default to sort of a five foot square roughly. If you want you could have it bigger, ten foot squares. Or Whatever, we'll keep it roughly in a five foot range. We'll lower the opacity a little bit here. Now, as you can see, it's a, this is sort of a projected uh, map. We can then change it if you'd like to use a hex grid. I mean, you could uh, use this for any type of game, any type of role playing game or whatever you want, or even war games. But we're gonna go back to this view here and set up our battle scene here. You could also change the colors of the grid, change its position if you need to. So, we need to set up our scene here. So we have lights, spells, objects, pets, monsters, PCs and NPCs, which should be ready in another week or so. We have a dice option if you want to roll uh, any dice, say a six-sided dice. Uh, you want to roll a four, six, five, six-sided dice, boom, there's your roll. You want to roll a 20-sided, three times there's your roll so we threw that in there to help we have our conditional modifiers for characters whether they're exhausted or stunned you can drop this effect in this is a charmed for instance we'll just so if you had a, your miniature on the map boom we've got a charmed character to keep track of so for now let's bring in the character's vehicle so I'm going to bring in a carriage players are traveling in style. I'm going to switch our scales. You can have all the various scales. I'm going to put it, the middle is about the, this default scale for a five foot grid. So by using the mouse wheel I can turn the way I like this. I can even lower the grid size when we use a legacy grid. So I can, where is it? down here like this. We can drop this down set it like something like that so that'll be good I think I'm going to use that one for this encounter we need a couple of uh, uh, beasts of burden to uh, to uh, pull our carriage here we could use camels but I think I'm going to use an elephant I'm going to scale them up a little bit here big elephant so by clicking on our animal you can make them move too. These are kind of if players have familiars and they don't have a miniature available for them so we'll set this guy up as though he's pulling the carriage and maybe players are really going to style and they've got two of these pulling them along the trail. Um, there we go and then we're gonna have some bandits waylay our party. And let's first. I want to add a f couple trees to uh, have some area for our. Let's make this one a little smaller. Maybe put it like that. And one final one over right here. So back to the trail. 
we are going to change the time of day. It's just getting a little darker, a little more towards night. You can see our shadows pop out. We also have sun direction, so let's say we're going to have the sun coming from this this direction here. Um, we, if you wanted to make this a winter map, you could add a snow uh, accumulation, which would make everything covered in snow. You can make it snow if you want, um, or you can make it rain. Um, but for now, let's take the snow away, and we're going to drop in another object. So, as the carriage is heading down the trail, they have come across Ah, uh, yes. I was just wondering what... They've come across some debris. Something is blocking the trail. Let's scale that up a bit. By right-clicking, you can remove an object. So some sort of barrier has been presented, and they've had to stop their wagon. Uh, kind of like that. On one side, we'll have a couple of bandits, and then in the woods and behind this fallen over tree, we'll have the other bandits approaching from the north, the south, some on the trail over here. Some of our other features um, under map view, you can change the tilt of the camera if you like. You can turn it. We can switch our location of our rotation of our map. And uh, you could pick any way you'd like for the players how they're going to see it. Um, switch that back up. There's a camera speed button as we're using our WSD keys to move around. If you want it faster, you could, you know, speed it up. So here's our set encounter, I think. So other features you might want to know about, we have we have monsters we continually to add. Um, you know, say you want a dragon, cave crawlers or spiders, things like that. Um, spells are generally used when the encounter is taking place. Someone drops a, you know, some fog down, blind people, or perhaps. A, darkness spell is thrown back here where the enemies are, or even a gaseous cloud. Oh, it scales a little off. Oh yeah, the, this cloud actually in particular has a color bar that comes to it, so you could make this cloud any color you want. So, put this red fumes, or if we wanted green. It's a cloud of green, yes. So, uh, yeah, those are generally added. We have a number of those. We continue to add more. We have Hunter's Mark, Glyphs of Warding, Cloud of Daggers, Phantom Steeds, things like that. Objects, we have nature objects, debris, broken objects, structures, vehicles, traps. So, I think I've gone through most of the features that we have available for our maps. So now, this is what we've set up. You can then save the map and open it later when your game begins. And for the players, so this has all been done on the DM side, now I can open the players side and you'll see what they will see when they begin to play. So we'll find their map here. First we'll make sure that we switch their view on and then we can bring over the player map, open it large, and there you go. Adventure, encounter, bandits on the road. Thank you very much.